Sean Plouffe, HitterIsh.com. This is not your average hitting analysis. We care about the greats and only the greats here at HitterIsh.com. You're about to be enlightened by a true top shelf hitting consultant. You will not hear me say swing down, stay inside, foot down early, and there will be no squishing of the bug. Today we're going to break down Ted Williams. We're going to see what made him great. We're going to break down his swing. And I'm not a person that believes in stopping the video, so we're just going to watch it through here. And what I'm watching here is the bat. The bat itself, the hands, and the way they work. And I'm looking at that rhythm, right? He kind of really knows how to whip the bat. He knows how to create momentum with the barrel. And here I stop the video. You can see how his hands are down by the waist with the bat tipped. And then here he gets on plane. And you see there's this rolling action back here behind him where he gets the bat from, from tip position back to on plane with the shoulders and the ball. And the back shoulder gets level with the ball. And as you can see, you know, Ted, what he does, what he does best, he hits bombs. So... Really, the good stuff is happening back here behind him. As you can see, that bat's kind of rolling. He's creating that momentum, and then he brings that momentum of the barrel into the baseball. Let's move on to the next clip. Here's behind the batter view, and here he gets around this ball, but we can still see those same movements where he's tipping the bat and pulling back. That elbow is going back towards the dugout behind him, creating more torque with the back leg, and as you can see, he kind of keeps it back while that back leg attacks the baseball. This is a very high level move. You'll see this in a lot of the great hitters that we'll break down. And uh, really good stuff going on back here. A lot of momentum going on. They used the little heavier bats. He was one of the first guys to use the lighter bats. But this is still heavy by today's standards. Probably 34 ounces, 33 by my guess. And that's a huge bat if you've ever tried to swing one of those. Another behind view. This is the best view I can get of him. is because you can really see the path of the barrel. Right there he's on plane with the pitch. And there's this momentum being created back there. And all he has to do is bring that momentum to the baseball. Really simple once you can do it, once you can understand it. Ted Williams, very similar to Barry Bonds and all the other great hitters will break down. But... Uh, this is what I'm seeing. He's creating momentum with the bat. I'm looking at the bat and the hands pretty much exclusively. Uh, one thing I will look at is the back leg. I want to see how the back leg works. And, and really that's the only thing I'm looking at is the hands and the back leg and the back half of that body. And if it's working right, uh, things kind of take care of themselves. Here's the front view. You see that barrel, really loose kind of action to it. Really, really nice. You can see the ball just explodes off the bat. And, and this is really where we talk about effortless swings. He's creating that momentum and just letting it run into the baseball. Awesome stuff here. You see back in the day they had a catcher for BP. <laughs> All right, good stuff, guys. I hope you learned something today. Sean Plouffe, Hitters.com. See you next time. Maybe I'm the realest one that's repping. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. If I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always repping. Oh, my God. My whole life, my words been my greatest weapon. I know I, I know I been the coast's greatest blessing. Greatest blessing.